Hi guys, Andrew here, Urban Automotive, Oakville, Ontario, Canada. Uh, here with the second part of our uh, diesel EGR cleaning. Um, we've taken all the adapters off now and we just want to show you the final results. This is the base of the EGR plate, as you can see. A lot of the coating has been cleaned up um, compared to how this was previously. You can see down in the intake, you know, there's still a little bit of coking. This is the inside of the EGR2. Look at that foaming cleaning still. Yeah. Scrubbing bubbles for your... Scrubbing bubbles. For your diesel system. Um, it does a pretty good job. Uh, depending on the vehicle, the mileage, and uh, you know how bad it is, you may have to run uh, maybe a couple more bottles of it through. Obviously letting it cool down uh, so it's not bypassed through the EGR cooler. And uh, yeah, it does a great job. A lot better than uh, replacing parts. And how often do we do this? Do you have a diesel? Well, try not to let it go more than 100,000 kilometers. Um, the longer you let it go, the harder it is to clean and the more bottles you gotta get through. And sometimes it doesn't clean at all. But again, we're gonna put all this back together, uh, put our scanner on it, uh, take it for a really good run so everything's blown through the exhaust and blown through your DPF filter and uh, everything will be uh, taken care of. So. Any. any issues with your uh, diesel there we've got all kinds of adapters Cummings uh, different gen Volkswagens Audis uh, Mercedes? Mercedes BMW uh, you know there's a lot available across the board anything that's diesel pretty much pretty much uh, if we don't have the adapters we can get it nice feel free to give us a call here at the shop urban automotive safety first